Namaste. Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Milanam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to do a video from Weon from ancient Buddha statue destroyed by construction workers in Pakistan for being un Islamic. So it really doesn't surprise me at all that no. this happened. It saddens me because um, an ancient Buddha statue could be amazing and it might not be the only one that they're unearthing um that they are destroying it is just heartbreaking we've heard imran khan speak many times on the un floor and he talks about how secular pakistan is and how the muslims in india are being treated unfairly and you know talk is about picking up a gun and he goes on and on you know it's and then stuff like this happens. And it's not the first thing we've seen in the news. You know, no. he talked about building this new Hindu temple. And I think that was literally just for show, you know? Yeah, definitely. Even you cannot use the non-Muslims money to build a temple in a Muslim land. So where's the question of using Muslim money or taxpayers money? This is totally against Islam, against the teaching of Quran and Sunnah. And like we saw, the little boy who was saying that if this Hindu temple gets built, he's going to kill all the Hindus. Like, that's how horrific this is. Yeah, and he's not the only one. I mean, it was sad to hear the little boy say it. Um, but, but where did he learn it from? Yeah, where did he learn it from? And, and there were a lot of other people in the higher up positions that were saying the same thing. You know, yeah. that the, there shouldn't be a Hindu temple in Islamabad. Right. So this just really makes us sad. We're going to watch this video. All right. So let's start with our big story that, of course, is coming from Pakistan, where an ancient Buddha statue found during construction work was reportedly vandalized by construction workers. Now, the workers were seen destroying the life size statue because they considered the relic to be un Islamic. Now, the Buddha statue was found in Pakistan's Takhbahi area in the Mardan district while digging the foundation of a house. Now, according to sources, a local cleric then told the workers that not destroying the statue would actually make them lose their beliefs. The value of the incident is now since, has now since gone viral. Now, the video shows the construction workers destroying the idol using a sledgehammer. Now, the Khyber Pakhtungwa police have now arrested all four men involved in this incident. And FIR has also been lodged against them under the Antiquity Act of 2016. Now, according to archaeologists, the ancient statue mm, is believed goodness. to be from the Gandhara civilization and was roughly about 1700 years old. This is just so sad to see yeah. that they would think that that's okay to destroy that. And as much as they, you know, got arrested for it, I just wonder if Sharia law will get them out of jail. Um, I don't really believe that they're going to stay in jail. So yeah. that will be interesting to find out later um, what happens to them. But you would think, like, I know to them they don't believe in sculptures and statues. Um, but think of it as a touristic attraction. Like, you could bring people in. You could put all... I'm sure it's not the only one there either. You know, how much money that would bring to Pakistan to have a huge... Buddhist tourist attraction yeah. or if not how many museums would want 1700 year old Buddha statue how many Buddhist you could temples it. you could sell it and for a lot of money you don't have to you know you you could still make something from it it doesn't I don't know I, I don't understand it I I have a really hard time because 
I want to believe the majority of Muslims are not like this. But where is that majority? Exactly. That they're not like the 9-11 terrorists or the 26-11 terrorists. So those are like the minority and the people that are crazy. Because you have them in all religions. Like um, the Holy Dalai Lama said, there's always a few bad seeds. That's how I want to believe. But when I see stuff like this, it's really hard for me to think like it's not the majority. Because I don't hear a lot in the news from the majority or on YouTube from the yeah. majority. If if Islam is really truly uh, a peaceful religion that believes you know everybody can have its own secularism, I would like to hear that from other Muslims because we don't. I don't see it. It's really hard, and I really do want to believe that the majority in every religion is mostly peaceful, and you always get some crazies but we need the majority to speak out like when 9-11 happened we didn't see a huge crowd of muslims gathering around the towers or you know no. with a visual like with lights and you didn't see that when 26 11 happened. happened you didn't see a lot of muslims come out and denounce this as this is not our religion you know we need if if you are truly Muslim and this is not what you believe, that this is a not okay, that 2611 and 911, these kind of acts are literally acts of terror and this is not your beliefs, please get on a speak platform out. and speak out and, and show us some of these places that this doesn't happen because I really do want to believe that the majority is not like that. This. this is not how it should be. Yeah. You know, you know, we have heard a few good things that um, with the Iodio Temple being built and um, that some of the Muslims have donated money or um, bricks of gold um, in support of it, saying yeah. that they used to be Hindu way, way back. And so Ram was part of their history, which, you know, we've done we've talked a lot about that not only ramayan and and hindu is more of a way of life as opposed to religion um this is great like this yeah. is the kind of stuff we want to see we want you to kind of put aside the differences and keep the religion in the house keep your religion in the house respect one another's religion country should be first you know we've always said that on here it's like um Syed Akubardin or APJ Kalam, they always seem to put the country first and the best interest of the country first. Your religion should be something that you keep in your home, but yeah. respecting each other for it. You know, what one believes, you don't have to believe, but you shouldn't be destroying the statues no. or cutting hands off the statues or faces off the statues because that's not your belief. That's not um, religious freedom, Imran Khan. So we hope, we hope something gets done. I feel really sad that this even happened. And yeah. it's not like you can, I don't know, put it back together. Um, maybe they're, that they'll get somebody in there that can see if there's more. Um, but this is obviously not the way to go. And like I said, if you can speak against this, if you're a Muslim and you can speak against this, please do. I would love to hear, you know, comments like this is not what our religion is all about so um hopefully you guys had a great day and we'll see you tomorrow bye bye